as you already you know from the title this is an updated handbag collection video now um, I've done one before as well I'm gonna link it here I don't know when it was I think at least a year or two ago yeah there was a, a handbag collection there was a backpack collection um, so this one's gonna be a mishmash of everything that I currently own and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it so I'm gonna start with the bag that I'm currently using which is from coach which is this one which is this beauty and I still have my little Rexy and yeah I have a, a monogram tag as well which uh, has my initials SST um, this was in a vlog um, you can check that here again if you're interested the reason I love this bag is it's because it's like a never-ending hole. Just look at how much stuff goes in there. And my bag is always so heavy. I don't know what I carry in it, but it's always heavy. And yeah, a lot of you have been requesting me to do a what's in my bag video. If you guys do want to see one, I could do another one. Leave that in the comments if you want me to do a new what's in my bag video. Uh, so what I love about this bag is that you can use it both ways. This way or it has the, you know, longer straps as well so yeah this is my current handbag so i'm gonna try and do this in categories so you guys see like the bigger bags and then the sling bags and then the uh little clutch bags and maybe the backpacks all of that in different groups up next we have this one which is uh, a ferragamo bag now this was gifted to me by a night on my birthday a few years ago i've used this a lot but the issue with this is because of the doodle uh, print on the front and the back you can't really pair it with a lot of stuff you have to like keep the outfit really simple and then use the bag that's when the bag really looks cool uh, if you do like a lot of printed stuff and do this it's a bit much then we have this Marc Jacobs beauty again uh, this was in my Changi haul and yeah I got this one in sale it's a nice big a uh, massive Marc Jacobs bag, never ending again, just like I like him. Um, love, love, love all the doodles on it. And yeah, it's white, so I try and keep it as clean as possible. And I don't use it a lot because I always feel like it's going to get ruined. Then we have this Longchamp staple, which is a bag that my friend Upasana gifted me a couple of years ago. I think I use it when I travel and for shoots sometimes. I just love that you can actually like literally just fold it and put it in easy to store easy to put into a nice big bag and yeah this is definitely the perfect travel bag if you want like a toti bag when you're traveling and not like a backpack then we have my bum bags or fanny packs as we call them in the 90s uh they're back again and i made this one ages ago like i don't even remember when i did this diy video do you guys remember how many of you have seen this video i'm gonna link it here check it out this was definitely one of my coolest diys then we have this one which was from new look yeah this was a night as and I remember I borrowed this on a holiday when we were in Budapest and I never gave it back. That's what sisters are for. And the last one is this one which is from Forever 21. It says love and uh, yeah. I like to use my bum bag when I travel. I feel like when you're going out partying it's quite cool to have it like even with just like jeans like this. Yeah. Okay now let's talk about clutches. I've actually thrown out a lot of my clutches and I don't really have that many anymore. Uh, but I do have a few. So there's this one which is my bossy bag. This was from ASOS. Again, something that I find hard to pair because I feel like everything else really needs to be simple for the bag to be like the statement in that outfit. So yeah, I've used this a few times. But yeah, everyone always asks, where is this from? I want this bag. Well, it's from ASOS. Then we have another clear clutch. This one was from AliExpress. Really, really cheap. Uh, but yeah, I just use this when I don't know what to use because it works with anything. This one is from Burberry. Again, really, really old. Um, this is probably in the earlier video as well. It was a wristlet that I bought um, on sale and I've used it ever since. Like a lot of people actually use these as wallets. I used to use it like a little tiny clutch bag and I still do. And this gold beauty is from H&M. I usually use this for like... Uh, weddings or with Indian outfits so it's just like a basic little bag the reason I like it is because it has a zip you know I always feel like with these flappy bags like I have stuff falling out all the time like I lose lipsticks or lose stuff and I never find it with this one I never lose anything because with a sari it's always like this and I've got my sari and like all of that and yeah so this never lets me lose anything <laughs> Then there's this basic black one which is from Vitasta. It also has a strap, again, initial with um, SS. 
um, which I really like. It has a strap too, but I've never used it with a strap. I always just use it like this because I feel it's a lot cooler like that. Then there's this gold and black beauty, which is from Vero Moda. Again, similar to the earlier one, it does have uh, loops for straps, but I never use it with straps. I just use it like this. And the last one we have is this one, which is from Urmi. Um, again, it's like one of those basket weaves, uh, very similar to my uh, Chennai bag in my last favorites video. And yeah, it just is really nice, big, and it's kind of clear, like you can see through it. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Um, and yeah, I just like this when I want to fit in like a lot of stuff, or if you have a lot of documents, I even use it as a folder sometimes. Yeah. Up next, we have my backpacks, and the first one is from Wrap Accessories, and they do really cool stuff. What I love about this one is it's just a little basic black backpack uh, with one single pocket. But the real fun is in the strap. So um, you can see this, this is a regular backpack and if I want to just make it into just a sling bag, I just have to pull the strap through this and it becomes a sling bag. Cool, right? Then we have this one which was in my Australia haul. I bought this from Cotton On for what, $2? Uh, just a regular drawstring backpack for traveling or swimming or just for stuff when I, I don't want my things to get dirty. <laughs> That's what this is for. Da -da -da -da. So this bag, I think you guys have heard so much about it. It's been in so many videos. It was in a what's in my bag video with Zane. Then I wanted to buy it and I didn't buy it and then I bought it from Singapore. And yeah, it's been with me for a while many stories this bag has seen many things <laughs> it's from forever 21 um it's just got this lovely little fringe tassel -y thing going and uh, it's one of the cutest backpacks that i think i own and i also keep touching it like it's a person which is really really weird then we have this one again another drawstring uh backpack i got from coves.com ages ago i got this guy on sale and i've been using it a lot for travel as well the reason I like these bags is because you can just fold them and put them into your suitcase like this and you know use it if you want to or not use it. It's not like a big bag that takes up space when you travel. Uh, like if I take a proper backpack backpack that's like a separate bag you know. So this is just like throw it in. Then we have this guy which is the latest one again from Forever 21. Uh, use this quite a bit. A decent size. It's a little small for me. Uh, like I generally have a lot more stuff like if you see my current handbag half of that stuff wouldn't fit in this so it's great for travel though uh, and it's it's quite cute and it was cheap as well so yeah ticks all the boxes then my last backpack is my H&M Barma uh, beauty which is really really large again I've used this when I traveled as well which was really nice it's a really nice big backpack if you're looking for something uh, large when you travel that looks cool and trendy and it's still big then this is the one that I take and yeah it's been with me again for what I think a year or a couple of years but yeah it's really really lasted okay now it's time for all the sling bags I have a lot of sling bags and I don't use them that often which is really strange I actually prefer a tote or a larger bag but I do have a lot of these little sling bags which I don't really use often but the first one which is my furla bag this is my go-to uh, date night bag or travel bag because it's black it's the perfect size like it fits in all my stuff and um, matches with most things and yeah it's just really cool and trendy with the chain and the leather so I feel like this is definitely something I use a lot and I've been using a lot lately uh, from all my sling bags this has to be my current favorite and we have my Marc Jacobs bag now this beauty I bought in New York ages ago this was my first proper like designer purchase it was orange and it was screaming my name uh so yeah this is still around then there's this one which is from accessories now i've changed the strap of this it used to be black i've just added like a little chain strap to it and uh, it has two sides so there's one black and then there's this little um snake skin like nudie finish uh, which again is a really nice bag because you can use it both ways. What I like is that it has two compartments. So uh, for an evening bag, you can fit in a whole lot of stuff in like both these. So yeah, when I'm looking for something that's like light, not heavy and just easy uh, and something you just want to sling across, this is the one I go for. This one is my grandma's vintage bag, which I still have obviously and I will hopefully always have. 
Um, again, I don't use this very often because I really want to preserve it and keep it for as long as I can. And I still think it's really trendy and cool even today after all these years. Like, do you guys have stuff like this in your closet? Like your uh, grandmas or your great grandmas handbags? I feel like they have the coolest stuff. Up next, we have this little tan Rocky Star box bag. Um, I really like the shape of this and this fits in like a lot of stuff for a small bag. Like a lot. That was really cool just to have like a little box. Like it is literally a little box. This one has been around for a while again. I bought this in uh, Spain and uh, it was from Primark. Really cheap again. I have this thing with like tassels and fringes. I don't know why I keep touching them but I have to touch them when you see them. Uh, again, a really big bag for a sling. Fits in a lot of stuff. Um, great for travel again because it's inexpensive, can get ruined, but still looks cool. Up next is my second Burberry bag. You guys have seen this one before as well. I bought it the same time as the wristlet. And yeah, I've had this for a long, long time. I'm actually thinking of possibly selling this on uh, online because I feel like I've had it for really long and I don't use it as much anymore. So yeah, maybe I will get rid of this one. What do you guys think? Do you think I should get rid of it? Another cheap purchase from Cotton On in Australia. Uh, this one's been with me for ages. It's just a basic big tan bag. So yeah, I buy a lot of these when I travel because what happens is I usually carry like a big bag or my backpack when I travel and then I want a smaller bag and then I see something like this or the other one from Primark and I buy it and then I don't end up using it a lot in Bombay. So yeah, I do have a lot of these random neutral looking bags. Then we have this one from Strapberry, which is yellow, quite large uh, for a sling. It's not that small, but again, I feel like with these bright colored bags, I tend to use them less and less now. Earlier I used to use like a yellow bag or an orange bag for like months. I don't feel that works for me. I prefer doing like a neutral shade like black, which I can use uh, for much longer. So yeah, there's this one, but I haven't used this in a while, but it's a nice mustard. Um, shade it's not like a really bright yellow but yeah need to use this more often another vintage bag this one was from my aunt's collection it's not as old as my grandma's and it's not that old uh, it's from some thing called choice collection which is some random brand so I usually use it this way like I cover that <laughs> use it this way because I thought it was really cool uh, it's like a you know a really weird shape like it's not like a box but it's just like a this little triangular shape but yeah, again, I thought it was really, really cool. I saw my aunt using this one day and I was like, oh, that's a cool bag. And she very sweetly sent it over the next uh, day. So yeah, I have this in my collection too. Then another small one. This is from Ritu Kumar. Uh, they sent me this. I've actually used this bag only once. It's got some beautiful embroidery on it and um, it's grey which is really rare like I feel like you never find a grey bag. The thing you know I have so many bags that you kind of put them in and then you forget about them and then when you do something like this you're like oh my god I need to use that, I need to use that and then you just don't change your bag so yeah I need to start using my bags. Then the last one is also the newest one in my collection now this is a Kate Spade bag that I got at Fashion Week when they had an event to launch this bag it's going to be available in India soon. Uh, the best part about this bag is it's totally customizable so uh, this is the nude one which obviously had a nude strap like you can see the nude strap here it had a nude um, top as well which I will show you in a bit you can change the flap uh, you can change the strap and you can add like little charms like this. So I got this little chili on the side and I changed the top flap to this black one because I wanted to change it. It's really cool. So it has these buttons um, on the back like this. So you can just unflap it like this. And uh, this is the original one. So you can actually put that back on. So it comes in like black and nude and stuff. And then you can customize your straps and your charms and all of that. It's a great size as well for travel and otherwise. It's a really cool idea. So guys, those were all my handbags. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment below with which bag was your favorite from my collection. See you guys. Bye.